Good morning, accountability partners. David Halpern of Mastery Consulting. I want to talk about the topic of leadership. Why is leadership important in the first place? And the answer is very simple. If we're all here to change our results, the only way we can do that is by first changing our daily activities or habits. Because if you always do what you always did, you always get what you always got. The problem is we try to change our daily habits or activities through willpower, a failed business strategy, or opium, as one of my old mentors used to say. The only way we're going to change our daily habits or activities is through a change of thinking. The greatest way for us to sustainably change our thinking is through leadership development and personal growth. So how do we do that? We've got to surround ourselves with different voices, reading, tapes, books, CDs. I, I love when I meet people who say they want coaching and I ask them, what do you listen to on the way down here to meet me? And their answer, of course, is nothing or music. And I always wonder, well, how do you expect to improve your business? Because we're not going to change ourselves, We're not going to change our thinking or activities, or our business. OK, so leadership's going to be a topic in many of our videos going forward. But the first leadership law is John Maxwell's law called the law of the lid from his book, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, which states this. Our leadership lid determines the lid of our organization's capacity and ultimately our financial results. In other words, if you're a five as a leader, you can only recruit and attract ones, twos, threes and fours to be your vendors, your teammates, your influencers and your financial results will reflect that of a five. If you're a seven, you can only recruit ones through sixes. If you're an eight or nine, you get the point. If we raise the level of our lid, we can literally raise who we attract in our businesses and ultimately our financial result. The second law of leadership is the law of influence, which means this, ready? How do we measure influence? The true measure of leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. Which means if you wanna know where you are as a leader, a five or a seven or a 10, do nothing more than determine how many people you influence and how deeply you influence them and that'll give you a gauge on where you are as a leader. Look forward to talking more about leadership. What one thing can you do today to improve your leadership skills?